Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on the app called Clips. We're just going to look at some of the basic features today just so that you can use this um, really cool video editing app um, for your lessons. So we're going to start by loading the, um, the search toolbar and we're going to just search for the app called Clips. There's the icon there with the little blue circle and the white camera. Okay, when I start the application here, it's already got a previous project that I was testing. So first thing to notice here is on the top left hand side, you've got a few folders up and then I click on that. I can start to create a new project. You can also see previous projects in there. Um, what I might do is just delete that selected project. I'm going to start a new one by pressing on the create new icon. Okay, so we're here we have a front facing camera. Uh, we can change the position of the camera by that little icon on the top right hand side. Okay, and the little white button will take a still, a capture, a still um, image. Okay, and the red button there will allow us to record. So I'm just going to cross that still image off and go back to the front facing camera again. Okay, so a few um, things that we're going to note here is that we've got a timeline at the bottom. At the moment, there are no no components to my clips. So let's add a little title sequence in there. Uh, we're going to click the little star icon underneath the record button. And that will just show you different, uh, different filters, subtitles, which we'll learn about later, text, stickers, and emojis. And just beneath that, we've got our um, images and camera roll. Um, so we can add in previously taken footage. And next to the um, tab for photos, we've got posters. This is where you get to add title sequences that are animated. And there's lots of cool ones to pick from. So have a look through those. Let's just pick a simple one here for now. And then you'll see that it's available for you to edit. And then once we apply that, we can then record that. And just to point to note here is it will record your audio as well. Welcome to my clips tutorial. Okay, so now we've got our first clip. We might want to cross that title poster option at the top left and then record a little bit of our actual uh, footage from our face, face camera. So red button again. And here we are. Welcome to my tutorial all about clips. And in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about how to use this really cool video editing app. Once you press stop, you'll see the clip appear at the bottom. And then what you can do is you can click on each or any of those clips at the bottom. And you can start to modify and change those clips. So for instance, I can add effects, which might include a filter. Or I might add some titles. And by the way, these are live titles. We'll come back to learn more about them in a second. I can add some other text. Move it around. We can add stickers. And as with all these items, you can shrink, increase the size of them, reposition them on the page. We can also add in some emojis. And there you have it. We've created a nice set of clips there. Red, Red button again, and here we are. Welcome to my clips tutorial. Once we're done with the playback, um, one really cool feature that I'd like to share with you is the subtitles option. So to enable this, we click on the star button 
and we go back to the uh, subtitles or live titles option we select one of the live title styles and then you'll see a yellow icon appear in the top middle of your, your screen you can then select the language at the bottom there by clicking on that little globe icon and choose the relevant English or other language that you want to use I believe it also includes Arabic in there Okay, so I think I've created an error of some type. Okay, so now that we have uh, our, um, our subtitle selected, we just click close on the particular option and we can hold and record and you'll notice it records the, the actual text at the bottom of my screen. This is an example of how to use the subtitles option in Clips. Okay, so that's seen now will have some subtitles. Let's click. This is an example of how to use the subtitles option in Clips. Now just be careful because not all of them will record so you have to be careful with your pronunciation on this one. Once you're finished with your clips you can press the share option at the bottom right hand side and there are lots of different ways in which you can share this project. You can airdrop it to your laptop and upload it to a Google Drive um, or you can send it by email depending on the size. You can also save it to your camera roll. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much. And please like and share. Good luck playing with the clips app. Bye for now.